Okay. Hello everyone. I decided to do a teardown of this soldering station. It's Zytronic. I bought it for about uh, 130 dollars or something. Um, of course, I have um, skillfully removed the warranty seal. Um, so what do, what do we have here? We have um, simple interface, temperature up, temperature down, set, power button, the handle is uh, attached to this DIN style connector, it's actually 5 pin, I assume one of those is not used because uh, it's heater, it's a thermocouple and I assume that uh, ESD protection is actually on the shield, but we're gonna see. Okay, station itself weighs about uh, half a kilo, something like this. And specs read um, LF1600, temperature control serving station, input 220, 240 volts AC, 50 hertz, fuse 1 amp, temperature range 200. 480 degrees Celsius and of course a bunch of other irrelevant stuff and a nice QC past sticker okay so let's go on with this assembly here we have another warranty sticker but I have something to do with this. So one was between the wall and the base and the other is up here. So I assume that means you can disassemble either the walls from the base or the top part from the walls. Unfortunately, the seals are a friendly kind, so the ones which do not fragment, which do not uh, fall into tiny pieces when you remove those. Okay, so unscrewing. At the top there is only one Phillips screw with a nice retaining washer. We can, I suppose, we can remove the top panel. Yep. Okay. Let us see what's in the other parts. We have four more screws down here. All are with these um, funny washers which prevent the screws from undoing themselves from vibration or whatever. The station is fairly heavy so I suppose uh, we have a linear power supply in there. Now we can completely take this apart or not.
so here it here is how it looks inside we see a transformer and IAC input um, everything is nicely heat shrunk and I cannot really see any unisolated um, mains wires um, here we have the little um, ESD jack which you can probably see better in here this is the one um, it's at attached to the case and uh, also attached to the grounding wire from the IEC connector which is nice and apart from the main switch which you can probably see here and uh, connector which you can see here there is nothing mu not much else as for the control I think this is a um, proper digital control um, the PCB is uh, completely through hole and interestingly the main MCU is uh, in a socket so supposedly you can replace that or maybe that's for uh, different different uh, versions of stuff the PCB is marked with Zytronic logo unfortunately the quality of this camera completely sucks and I cannot get focused but you have to believe me that this is a, a Zytronic logo with some uh, part number um, unfortunately I can't seem, can't seem to find um, any date code or anything um, this uh, this PCB is held with uh, four screws to the front panel we have a uh, some heat sink device it's uh, BTA 12 I think yep seems like that there is also a garden variety 7805 which interestingly was made by ST same as the BTA by the way MCU um, I can see Atmel logo but uh, what exactly is it yeah, it's 80 mega 88 um, we have some op amp it's a uh, genuine TI uh, OP07 so let me say that the basic precision op amp um, capacitors uh, were made by Tokon whatever it, whatever this is we have some um, opto triac in here and really nothing nothing not much else um, interestingly in this connector it's a free pole connector but uh, it probably had three wires coming out of it at some point of time but uh, now it's only two wires and the third one was uh, cut down in here I think those come from the thermocouple those are too thin to be to be the heater cables but seem, this seems to be the case um, now we have some Molex style connectors in here um, okay so I would say that <coughs> it's not the absolute top quality PCB assembly but yeah it's it's very nice um, I don't see any obvious uh, yeah there is one there is there is a little body here so this uh, it seems to be designed this way but uh, there is a capacitor and a resistor sharing the same um, through hole in here Well, I can't seem to find any more bodges okay let's see what's on the other side of this
And by the way, home case, this is a this is some kind of aluminum extrusion. Seems really sturdy. Okay. <clears throat> yep. No surprise here. We have only a three digit display with one smaller digit. I don't know what is it for. It's probably for Celsius versus Kelvin degrees or something like this. And three tactile buttons. Interestingly, um, these don't completely protrude to the front panel, but. Uh, there is an additional, let me say, rubber feature. That's nice. Yeah, it's it's uh, really nice in operation. <laughs> let me see if I can assemble this now. Yeah, there is this funny thing that the screws holding the PCB to the top panel are actually under some... They are not perpendicular to the, uh, to the PCB, but they are at, the, at some angle, but I've, I guess it works. I generally do not want to undo all these cables because they are tied together and <laughs> I'm really hoping to use this uh, soldering station. Okay, so, so much for the station itself. I, I will now assemble this back. Okay, so the comments. Yep, do it yourself, uh, smartphone camera holder. Yeah. Uh, let me see if I can assemble this back again. Oh, shit. Okay, it was definitely easier to undo those screws than screw them in back again but as far as I can tell um, I don't know if these are different sizes or what yep it seems to be the case because the previous one didn't want didn't fit in this hole so interestingly enough they used <laughs> a different screw in here than the four screws which attach the base plate to the walls or the wall because it's single ex aluminum extrusion I believe it's aluminum by the way I didn't catch this on pictures but uh, this, but uh, these uh, screws uh, there are no um, inserts or whatever, but uh, the aluminum uh, extrusion, which makes up the walls, is uh, threaded inside. So, okay, so on with the review. Um, I have assembled this back. I hope I didn't screw up anything. All 
the service, the warranty seals are attached back again. I believe they, no harm was done to them. Okay, now other um, vital, par vital part of its soldering iron, so the, the handle. The kind which was uh, shipped with this uh, soldering station is uh, type 108 ESD with soldering iron 32 volts 80 watt. It's uh, fairly light, but the cable is kind of stiff. But uh, it's <coughs> it's uh, less stiff than uh, cheaper stations. There is a quite nice strain relief on the end. change the tip you just unscrew this uh, nut and there is a um, ceramic heating element <coughs> it's it's fairly easy and by the way tips uh, for these irons are compatible with older hackos and uh, maybe some weather tips so uh, and of course as Zytronic produces has the whole catalog of different tips ranging from um, screwdrivers, chisels, uh, mini wave and, and such. And uh, in the set with this uh, soldering iron you get this uh, soldering iron stand with the little um, with the brass shavings which which I really prefer to the damp sponge for cleaning the tip. And the plus of those is that you can <laughs> stick your uh, spare uh, iron tips just uh, just in, in the shavings and uh, it helps to, uh, to replace them when the when the iron is hot. Okay, so let us see. Plug it in. Hopefully, I didn't break anything while disassembling it. Okay, so here we can see that uh, you see the temperature. If I set the temperature up or down, for example, 365 degrees, and uh, what is shown on the display is actually the <coughs> is actually the real temperature of the tip. And uh, by the way, uh, normally you cannot see this uh, this uh, flickering. I believe it's uh, the update rate. Or the it's a multiplexing of the display, so the, it seems like the display is multiplexed because uh, normally you cannot see this uh, flicker effect. There is also supposedly some uh, way to lock the temperature down and set up some password. I believe that's for um, production environments. I don't have a way to um, to measure the actual temperature of the tip, so no <coughs> no good news here. But uh, yeah, I guess it's it's very nice. Its value for money is 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 very good in this case. I paid like uh, 140 bucks, about 130 for this, because uh, I purchased also some uh, extra tips. Um, compared to, for example, uh, 250 bucks, which you would have to pay. Uh, for HACCO FX888 here in European Union, it's really good. And uh, I am uh, for for the for how much I am using the soldering iron. I am not sure if I need the HACCO. If for 130 bucks I can I can buy something same as uh, functional as the HACCO. So um, by the way, I'm sorry that uh, I was uh, unable to do some high definition shots of this I, I unfortunately I don't have any uh, real camera on only the one with only the one which is in my smartphone but I guess uh, this this should be quite informative
I, I might choose to, to do some um, internal shots uh, of some st some static photos of, of this of the internals of the station uh, some sometime later. Thank you very much, and that would be it.